And this video is part of the elementary skills playlist on this channel. It's linked to in the description down below. If you want to up your elementary skills, make sure you check out that playlist. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below as well. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. We're going to add a fixed button to this elementary template. It's going to be an order now button or order ahead. So people can order drinks ahead before they come to this bar. And it's gonna be in the bottom right corner of the page. So to get started, we drag and drop our button onto the page. I'm gonna put it at the very top. That way we don't have to mess with the Z index very much. We'll get to that in a little bit in case you do have to mess with it. I'm gonna just change the color since we're on a black page. I'm gonna change it to be orange. And I'll change the text color to be white. And there we go, button's all customized. Now we go to advanced, making sure we're still on the button. We see here, edit button. And under advanced, we wanna to go to positioning. Under positioning, we wanna choose positioning from the drop down, fixed. And this is now a fixed button. If we scroll, the button is fixed to the page at all times. But we want it in the bottom right corner. So let's scroll to the very top again. Actually, it doesn't matter where you scroll to. We can do this anywhere you want. We position the button by using these offsets. I'm gonna switch it to percentage and I'm going to move it to 80% horizontal. It's not quite where I want it. Let's just press the up button so we get it right where we want it. Right there is pretty good. For vertical, let's start with 80 as well. And move to percent, of course. And go down and that's a good spot right there. So it always stays in the bottom corner as you can see, all the way down the page. You might also see that this element, these red lines are above the button. That may not be what you want, or maybe it is, I'm not sure, but I'll tell you how to fix it anyway. This is the Z index. So in the button's advanced settings, go to advanced, and the Z index needs to be higher than the Z index of these lines. The easiest thing to do is just set this to 1000 or commonly 999 and that should be higher than anything else. And you're not gonna use the Z-Index very often, and so you don't have to worry about this being an issue. And the Z-Index, basically, you can imagine papers stacking on top of each other on a desk, and the paper on the very bottom has a Z-Index of zero, the paper on top has a Z-Index of one, the next sheet has a Z-Index of two, the next sheet has a Z-Index of three, and that way you can also layer elements on a website with Z-Index. So the Z index of 999 is really high and it's likely higher than anything you'd have on a template. And so it always appears on the top, as you can see here. And as always, you wanna make sure you test this on mobile. Let's go to the tablet. And we see down here, the button is off the screen. That's not what we want. So we have to go back to positioning. We wanna make sure we're on percent. Let's change this to 70. Let's go up 70. Six looks pretty good. And percent for the vertical. Let's change it to 70 as well. Not quite where we want it. Let's move that down. There we go. And now we're set for tablet. Let's go to mobile. It's off the screen again. Let's go to percent. Let's make this 50. Nope. Less. I'm going to put it right in the middle for mobile or close to the middle. I think that's pretty close. And then the same for the vertical, not the same, actually one at the bottom as we had. So we want to put it right there. So that's how we set up our fixed button. You don't want to have too many fixed elements on the page. In fact, there is a warning right here. Custom positioning is not a best practice for responsive web design. So you don't want to use it very frequently, but when you do use it, you can use it to great effect as in this example right here. And this is also different than the sticky button, which we'll have another tutorial for in this same playlist. So make sure you check that out as well. This Elementor video is part of my Elementor skills playlist where we cover lots of the basics in Elementor to help you get up and running with Elementor as fast as possible. If you wanna check out that playlist, it's a link to in the description down below and probably in a card up above somewhere during this video. 
So check out that playlist if you want to level up your Elementor skills. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, click the link in the description down below to get yourself a copy. It is an affiliate link, so if you buy through that link, I do get a commission. And it does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Elementor shares that referral income with me. And that's what helps me keep making these videos for free and putting them up on YouTube so you can get better at WordPress and Elementor. So if you buy through that link down below, I really appreciate it. And next up, check out the Elementor Skills playlist right here, which I referenced throughout this video. If you watch those videos, your Elementor skills will be increased. So if you want to get better, watch that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.